2018 and the race for governor. A big event is being held tonight for Democratic candidate Gwen Graham. And she's calling on the help of, well, a classic rock legend. Local 10 News reporter Janine Stan with Live Now in Hollywood to show, the, show us who this is. Janine. Kevin Lurie, you might be able to guess who this classic rock legend is uh, based on some of the outfits here. In fact, I think I've spotted a parrot head in his natural habitat. A lot of folks out here in flip-flops, they're in Hawaiian shirts. They are here to see Jimmy Buffett, who is endorsing Gwen Graham for governor. Right now, she is in a statistical heat with Mayor Philip Levine. That's Jimmy Buffett in the green shirt and white hat. The sound check going off without a hitch before tonight's big concert and rally in Hollywood for gubernatorial candidate Gwen Graham. Oh, the early birds, or should we say early parrot heads, tell us if Mr. Cheeseburger in Paradise likes the Democratic candidate, they like her too. He's endorsing Gwen Graham. What do you think of her? I think it's great. It's time to make a change, and I don't see anybody better than Gwen to do that. I'm a big Jimmy and Graham supporter. David Lee Sue tells us he loved her father, former Senator and Governor Bob Graham, who the Tampa Bay Times is reporting has infused Graham's campaign with a half million dollars. I want she has to hear what she has to say in person. But Graham's camp admits they haven't been on the ground as much in South Florida, so undecided voters are looking forward to hearing the candidate in person. I'm actually here to learn more about what she has to say and see what's, what she's, she's all about. So Jimmy Buffett has had a history with the Graham family. In fact, some of the people here tell me that they remember when the two of them sang together on stage years ago. So the question is, will there be any singing tonight? We don't know. We're going to stay tuned. Of course, the doors are open now. The concert begins at 730. We're in Hollywood. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News.